I'm General T.J. O'Shaughnessy, Commander of the Pacific Air Forces. Today I want to highlight the gravity of the challenges facing us here in the Indo-Asia Pacific and how you, the Airmen of PACAF, are working together with our joint and allied partners to tackle these challenges. Our theater is rapidly changing. The relative peace of the past few decades has given way to increasingly aggressive actions by rising powers and those who would undermine the stability of the region through military provocation and the testing of military capability that puts at risk our U.S. homeland and the interests of our allies and partners. While we are prepared to respond to a wide range of growing threats, our most pressing concerns are the recent actions taken by North Korea, who seek to test and field an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of threatening the U.S. homeland. Our president has stated we cannot allow this to happen. In response to this challenge, all options are on the table. We always prefer a diplomatic solution, and the Department of State is working this extremely hard with the international community. And we are in full support. But this diplomatic solution can only be effective when supported by a credible military response option. We, in support of U.S. Pacific Command, are that credible military response, ensuring our readiness to fight tonight and our ability to sustain the fight with a competitive advantage through tomorrow is our central concern. While we are ready to fight tonight, we are also working closely with the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, as well as the Commander of the U.S. Pacific Command, to identify areas where we can better ensure readiness in the event that we need to provide military responses. And to that end, we're increasing manning in our air operations centers, addressing out-of-theater deployment requirements for both units and individuals, as well as identifying the additional forces we need to set the theater for a military response in the event the situation escalates into a crisis. Though we will all continue to work towards a peaceful solution, we are ready to provide a decisive military response if required. Thank you for what you do each and every day to ensure this readiness and to enable our credible military capability against these growing threats. We are on the front lines at PACAF, forward deployed for our ready response. The Indo-Asia Pacific is changing rapidly and we at PACAF are adapting to maintain our competitive advantage.